All right, so today we are building a twin loft. We just bought it for my daughter's birthday. It comes in a crap load of pieces, so that will be fine. The tools come in this box, it looks like. So we're gonna do step-by-step, step, and this is a crap ton of pieces. These are all the pieces it comes in. I probably won't sort it out, but I might. But if you're the sorting person, hey, pause this video and you can do all the sorting you need to and get it in ABC order or whatever. But it does have, I see that it has letters. These have letters on this part. If it's not on this part, if it's not on this part, it's on the bottom part. I did check that. Okay, so these are the things that have came with it. We got these. This was just kind of loose in here. And this long thing. They did say that it needs screwdrivers. These are Philip. I got three different sizes just in case. So make sure you have those with you. It does not come with it. Okay, if you're like me and had a hard time finding this, it's in the one marked two, nine, number nine. All right, so we're gonna get started. I'm gonna go ahead and put those bolts in and then I'll show it put together. Just a quick preview. This is where each screw goes. All right, so I highly recommend that you make a blank space because you need somewhere to work at and having all the scrap in your way is not the business. So I'm going to scoot everything over first and then we'll get started. Um, I did notice that some of the stickers are not on there, so I will be figuring that out and I'll let you know how that goes. Okay, so we got it all set up. I got it laid out. Okay, so I kind of got the first part set up right here and I'm gonna explain which piece it is. So this is H, this is the ladder without the sticker. One came with the sticker, one doesn't. This one's H, in case yours didn't come with the H sticker. And okay, and then these are all, these right here, these are all labeled differently, so be careful with that. This one is B, okay? So it has this, the two, let's see, one, two, three, four holes right here, has these, and then a couple on the bottom. Okay, this one's A, so be careful with that. So same thing, just re reversed, okay? And then this actually does have the sticker on it, thankfully. So this is I. So, so far there's two of these right here. So that's kind of how it's supposed to look right now. Okay. And then I just figured out that these are numbered. Okay. So these are number three and you're going to need eight of those. Okay. And then these are number seven. You're going to need seven of those. Mistake. Make sure. Holes are facing up. Okay, so we got the, that in there. And then this will go right in here. Make sure the hole is facing towards the screw, okay? So it's gonna go in there like that, okay? And then I'm gonna screw this in. Okay, so next one is G, okay? It has these kind of beveled holes, it has three of them, okay? And then you wanna get number eight screws out, three of them. You don't need a screwdriver for this. You just need this. Okay, so this is where the next piece is gonna go. Make sure the beveled part is up. So you want it to go this way. Okay, and then the screws are gonna go right there. All right, so we're gonna do that real quick. You just wanna get the screws started. You don't want to tighten them. Okay, now that they're in there, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten each one. <laughs> K, 
Okay, make sure the beveled side, where it's a little bigger, is on the top part. And then you're gonna put that in there. All right, so we just finished the first step. Um, and now, well, step one and two. Now we're gonna move on to step three, which is building the other side. Okay, this is it right here. Um, I'm going to show you. So I'm gonna find the pieces and then show you the pieces and then we're gonna go. All right, okay, G. So luckily mine has the letter on it, but it has the three holes just like the other one. Looks just like the other one, three holes. The ones that are beveled right here, right here, and right here. Okay, just like the other one, it's gonna go to the top. These are number eight screws. You're gonna need three of them in this tool. Okay, so this is what this is supposed to look like. Got the board at the top right there. All, right, all the screws are in. Everything is tightened. On to the next step. We're moving on to step five, which is the next build of everything. All right, so we are on this one right here, but you're gonna get pieces F, E, J, and then J1 together. So let's go get those pieces together and I'll show you what each one looks like because some of them are not labeled correctly, unfortunately. So we're gonna grab F, which is this piece. Okay, it's beveled. Don't worry about it. So it's this, 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 so it has three, no, four going down on one side, one, two on one side, and then it has these beveled screw areas on this side. There are four, and then two on another side. So that is F. So F is gonna go on one side, and we are gonna put it down. I will show you what it looks like facing me. So here's an idea of what it's supposed to look like. I haven't put the screws in, but see the part, the side that has the longer part, and then there's a shorter area. So the instructions have that facing this way. So that's the way I put it to make it look like the instructions, okay? And then you see where it has the holes for, the, for these things in it, okay? So it's gonna go the screws are gonna go in here. So you got, these are the J's. And be careful with which one has the two, because there's two, and then there's one, two, and then one. And then over here, it's just one, 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 one. So look out for that. Okay, so the last end piece is this one. This is the last one that we did. Okay, has two holes up here, two holes right here. Pretty much looks exactly like the other one, but somehow it's different. Okay, and then this is the piece we just made. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and set that up, and you're going to grab K. Okay, I decided to go the route of putting all the peg looking things on first and didn't tighten anything but now I'm going to put the last thing we did this thing um connect it to it and then put those screws on and then tighten everything up once it gets fitted onto there so make sure I mean there's no really way to screw that up because one side has this the other side's a small hole so but you do want to go with the longer side up. All right, so that step was a little difficult, step six, uh, because two of these bars right here were upside down. So 
Note, the holes all need to be facing up. So when you have this laid down towards you, make sure they're all facing one way. And as for this, that goes right here. There is no hole on any side for some reason. Um, so it's, you kind of have to start it yourself, I guess. So we're going to do that and put it right here. So it goes this way up. Okay, we're getting towards the end of this. Now I think I that's left is those boards, which are the shelves and the desk. Um, and then these pieces over here. But for right now, I'm gonna go around and tighten all these. Uh, I have kids who are doing this with me, so of course I'm, I lost a couple of screws. Um, but, you know, I'll find them. So we'll get, we'll get there and then we'll fix that. We still have to do this part. Don't forget about that part. We need to move that up. So um, I probably would not put that there until the very end so you can even it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten all this and then we'll put the desk and the shelves on. Forgot about this piece. Make sure you put that one in there, same as these. Okay, so everything is tightened. I got it set in the corner like we want it to go. Next is these shelves that go right here. Got them sitting right here. All right, all done. Now it's the desk that goes here. That's the big last piece. And then we have the pieces of wood that are next. So we're gonna put this on right now and that'll be the same screws as these pieces right here. Got the desk on, screws in, not easy. Last thing, cause I don't know if you're as tired with this as I am, are these, I guess they're called slats. These things, I mean, it's pretty obvious what's last cause it's the only thing you have left. But you're gonna use, um, there's 28 pieces of the number 12 screw. All right. <clears throat> Finally got the last part in. I think you're gonna have to put those in before you drill them down um, to kind of see how far apart you need to spread them, but it doesn't look half bad. And be careful for the nails that are already in there on the side because, <clears throat> let me see, I'm trying to get, there we go, these right here. You wanna make sure this, don't go right above it because it won't go through that nail. So be careful for that. But now it's time for the mattress. So we're going to put that up here and see how it goes.